the Excalibur. <laughs> Thanks, Ice. You're welcome. Can you see that? Yes. Perfect. So this is what we're gonna do. Titanium white, reflex rose, primary magenta. I like that one. You like that one? Quinacridone rose, permanent yeah. red violet, naphthol red medium, naphthol red light, little bit of Naples yellow deep, ultramarine blue, and permanent blue violet. And a growling dog at the cat. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. First color we're going for is this purple. I'm gonna squeeze out some of this permanent blue violet, some ultramarine blue. I'm about to the end of this tube. I'm about to have to cut that one open. Oh, it's a beautiful color, isn't it? And a little bit of this permanent red violet here. Oh, oh my God, it's so, it's so nice. So obviously that is, you know, not this color. This needs, in my opinion, needs a little more blue. Ooh, way. We're getting there. I'm gonna add some of this. Let's see if I can't get to it that way. A little bit more of the blue. Okay, now, I, I need it to be a higher value, so I'm gonna try a smidge of the reflex, that's why it's out here, because it's transparent, and I don't want this to be like a lavender color. And you see I went and grabbed some more of that blue, and went, so I'm putting in the reflex, and that's going to a red purple. But this is really more of a blue purple on this photograph, which could very well just be my printer oh. doing that to me. Okay. Um, you, are you about to add white to that? I'm going to add just a touch. I'm going to put some white right back here off camera, and I'm going to add just a smidge. Let's see, one day you tell us, don't add white. Today you're telling us to add white, you're confusing me. My eyes say to add a little bit more of that pink. Mm, that's reflex, not pink. Reflex rose. Stop confusing them with names of colors. It's pink. You can see that it's pink for crying out loud. I almost hey, said something hey. else. Okay, look at that. Shut up, Chase, because I, I just don't care. Rays. You're not very easy to deal with. Oh, there's the color. That's exact. That's the exact color right there. Look. You're lying and don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's the ex it's exact. Oh, it is. Good job. High five. High five. Off camera. Wacha, wacha. Yeah. Okay, so now let's start with this primary or this permanent red violet. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much it. Go. Oh, that's the second time that's happened. Yeah, that, that usually never happens. That oh usually God. never, ever, ever happens. It, it doesn't. It looks a little dark. Well, and it looks like it needs a little of the pink in it to me too. Just FYI. Reflex. And being that we put some reflex in the purple, I'm gonna add a little bit of reflex to this That's just to lot. see. I didn't think you were gonna add that much. Oh, oh, look at that. We made that color. Wow, that was. That was an accident and it was perfect. <laughs> High five. High five. Okay, so that tells me that I'm right about the reflex and this needs a little bit of reflex in it, but this one needs a lot more reflex in it to raise the value of it. So here we go. So there's the the normal one. We're gonna grab a tiny bit of reflex here just to slightly raise the value of this one. So that it's a little bit more pink. Is that it? 
Yep. That's it. That's exactly it. You can't even hardly see that on the swatch. Perfect. Oh, how I love to be right. Now, I'm going to take the reflex. I love this reflex rouge, y'all. And I know it's light fastness is a little questionable, but um, I do love how this performs with raising the value of something without using a white. So we're still transparent. We still look great. That's the exact color. Okay. Did y'all see that coming? Did you think that's what we were going to do to get that higher value? Pink was to add the reflex to it. I, I thought you were going to add green. You thought I was going to add green? Yeah. Green and pink make brown. They're complementary colors. I kind of don't think that you know what you're talking about. Okay, this is the Naphthol Light. This is the Naphthol Medium. Naphthol Red Medium. Even though it reads like orange, it's called red. Because this... If you squint, it's very red. That is not the right hue. And that is not the right hue. It looks pretty damn close. But if you mix them together... Oh my gosh! You get a green? Yeah, you if you mix red and red, you get green, say. That's exactly where this is why you're not conducting the show. This is why you're the producer and not the color mixologist. If you mix them together, the color is perfect. There you go. That was hard. Woo that was hard. I know. This is why I really like the Amsterdam the Amsterdam paint. I've played in it enough that I can really get to a color very quickly. Go. Now we're gonna go with the higher value. White is not your best friend. Guys, I used a tiny bit of white in that purple only because I had to. So, but here we're going to use the um, Naples Yellow Deep. Because this is a yellowy color anyway. It's a real creamy, buttery color. And so we're going to add some of that straight into that mixture that we just left on the table of the Naphthal Red Light and the Naphthal Red Medium. And we're going to continue to mix that Naples Yellow Deep in there until we get the hue we're looking for. And it looks like it's going to take 10 gallons to get to that peach. Ooh. For real. We're super, oh, there it is. That's the exact color. Did you just do it? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this though. <laughs> Who's that? Celebration. Celebration? Victory lap for us? I'm not running. You're not running? No. You don't run? No. Okay, you're not gonna run. Do you see the size of my thighs? <laughs> That's really funny. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of the gold yellow. And I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of this reflex rose into that. I'm just seeing if I can get a, a wow of fluorescent orange. Um, I need a zinc white. Um, is that one right next to your hand? That's titanium. Is this one in your ear? <laughs> Thank you. I literally just pulled that out of her ear. You did not see it. It was off camera, but it did just happen. That could be way more white than I need. I think it's way too much. Well, the zinc is really transparent, so... Okay, now... Obviously, the intensity of this is like mind blowing because I put a ton of reflex rose in there. I'm going to bring it down with a little bit of the Naples Yellow Deep. I'm looking for a really nice. What color is this, Sace? 
Carl! Carl! Looking for a really lovely coral to go along with this pour. Looks more orange. Yep, I know it does. There we go. So cutting in just a tiny dribble of the permanent rose violet, or permanent red violet, was the ticket there. Okay, as a side note, it just occurred to me that I really picked this because I wanted to show a viewer how to mix some burgundy. And so, um, um, your burgundy comes in all different forms. This is the permanent um, red violet out here. And if you just add a little bit of the, of the permanent red, or permanent blue violet, you make a little more purple burgundy. If you add a little bit of the ultramarine blue in there, it goes a little bit more to the to the purple burgundy. If you want this to be more like red wine, add some carmine to it. Look, I just got to the exact same color again in a completely different manner. Look at that. Wow. So that was a little more complex. I actually like that better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a little it's a little richer with that with the carmine in there because that's a more of a red undertone. And I kinda like it. So there you have it. The exact same color, two different ways. That's it right there. Let's do that one too. There's a burgundy. And we will do some more. You guys send in your color requests. You got a color that's that you're just having trouble with, the color combination you want to see. Send a picture of it to the email address that's at the, you know, in our description, and we will do everything we can to make it happen. Because I love these mixing color videos for you. I like them better than just the plain pours because I feel like you're getting something a little more out of it than just the norm. So let's add some Floetrol. All right, let's do this. So we've got the color palette mixed up. You guys went through all this process with me right here. This is the colors. I added another pink to it, this color right here. It's kind of an orchidy pink. It's a permanent red violet light with a little bit of the permanent blue violet in it so it's a little, so it works and um, of course we've got our gold and and all the other colors I'm not going to go through them again because we've already talked about them I got white in this and so let's get started now I don't feel like I, I feel like I want to layer these like I don't want to just have I'm going to fill this cup up usually on this because this is a an 8 by 10 canvas so we're going to fill this cup all the way up Okay, this one, ooh, I think I'm going to pour that on. What do you think? So if I pour my bands of color so that I have more negative space, which i kind of been digging lately. So let's do this. And then let's do maybe that, maybe this. Get some orange on there because I dig that orange up against that purple. I'm loving this orange and purple. 
combo that we've been doing lately. I love it. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to put a little bit of white in there, separate the, them out. Or do I want to flip it and set it on fire, say? I kind of like fire. You want to do the fire? What do you want to do? Hmm. I kind of don't know. Look at this. You ready? Mm hmm. I just barely take that through there. We're already getting some pretty cool effects. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't like making these decisions, eh? Look how cool that is, though. Mm -hmm. If I do just go ahead and pour it... I'm going to take this. I'm going to pick this up. I like to set the cup on fire, though. I'm going to move this around a little bit just to kind of see what we're getting, what kind of action we're going to get from this. Is this the one I've been using? Yes. I'm going to wipe that off. Look at how amazing that looks in there. I'm gonna swipe that. Swipe it back this way. And come in. And just make sure that goes over the edge. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna set it on fire. So I'm gonna. I think you're scared. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. scared. No, I'm sure? not scared. No, I'm not scared. Do you feel scared? I'm not scared. Do you feel scared? I'm not scared. I think you're scared. I think you're scared. Wow, that's really cool though. I want to see. Guys, I never have a plan for these. I always just kind of let the painting tell me what it is, what it wants to do, and right now it wants to pour all over my hand. So. I'm, you know what, Chase? I'm going to do a pour. Okay. I'm going to stir that once and hope I don't make mud. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go from here. And make candy ribbons. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to come in here with the solid colors and pour some more ribbons of solid colors so we can kind of break that up a little bit because it's really, really busy now. But I dig it. I think I like it a lot, actually. And if you're all screaming, stop, don't do any more, I'm sorry. I'm going to do some more. Because this is how I test the boundaries of things. Let's
Wowza. That is cool. That is really cool. I am digging the solid areas in between the all the really busy stuff. I'm liking it a lot, actually. I'm really liking the solid areas in between all this busyness. I'm gonna pick some of that paint up off the side there and pour it on. Now I've got a ton of paint on here. And yes, I poured off a bunch of paint, but I'm okay with that because I'm trying to learn some new things here about this. Get my sides covered totally. Wow. Come back in and torch that. Torch there, torch there, torch there. I love that orange peeking through. So I've got orange over there peeking through. I want a little bit of orange over here to balance it out. I'm hoping that it stays. I'm trying to get just a grab, <coughs> excuse me, outside of that cup. Grab a cough outside of that cup? Yeah, grab a cough. I've been having a cough ever since we started. I finally just I finally just couldn't hang on to it any longer. <sighs> I'm gonna kill this orange here. I don't like this right here. Can you totally hear your hard drive working? That it freaks me out. Okay guys, what do you think about this? Is it too busy? Is it not your jam? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Leave us a comment. What do you think? Should I quit working on it? Should I do something else? Again, we're just kind of playing in the paint and having some fun experimenting with some things here. I've got too much paint on that, so I'm pouring some of it off. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I think I'm going to clean that up a little bit because I don't necessarily want all of that moving around there. I like that gone there. Oh, it's beautiful. Got a little more separation. I know I keep coming back because I'm just not quite where I want it to be yet. You want it to be at <clears throat> Fiji. That's where I want oh, it to be. It does sound very nice. Fiji. Coming soon to a near you. 
I want it to be at Fiji, say. Ooh, I don't like that at all. More paint on the canvas. Sorry, you gotta see it all work out. I mean, if you don't see me work a problem out, then you never learn how to work a problem out yourself, so. Tuffy, come here. Are you considered spraying water on it? Um, sometimes I have considered that, but I don't want to do that to this Spritz, one. spritz. No. There we go. All right. So it's a little really busy, but it's got some nice solid areas. And I don't know if I like the way it turned out or not, to be honest. Tell us what you think. Oh, I like that. All right. Let's torch it one more time. Kind of looks like marble, I like it. Marble or quartz. Alright, are we done now? I don't know. Am I done now, say? How does it look to you, honestly? I mean, it looks really good. Does it? Mm-hmm. I'm not sold. Make me stop, say. Stop. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, Rio. Yeah, say. Time to end it. Time to end it? Yep. We're done? Yep. There's a lot of paint on that canvas day. I think it, I think I saved it. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe you don't like it at all. That's okay. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. Give me a color, uh, give me color suggestions. Let me know what other forms of art you want to see us do. If you got an idea you want to see us do, send me an email. Email's in the description and a, a photo or a link to it and we will give it a try and leave a comment. We need your comments, you guys. So, I think that's it. I think I'm going to throw my hands up and just say I've learned something from this and it's time to move on. aren't getting their notifications. Um, we're trying to get ourselves on a schedule to release a video on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, so bear with us. We're really working on that, and if you haven't already gone over to the vlog, Rio and Say's up close and up way too close. Rio and Say's up close and way too personal. So check that one out too. It's like right there somewhere, or right there somewhere. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Leave us a comment. Give us some ideas. We love you guys. Until next time, thanks for joining us in the studio. Ciao!